Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Radiant Central and I'm your host Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So today I want to talk about getting ready for the holidays. Next week, for those that live in the United States, it's American Thanksgiving and then <laughs> December is going to be rolling in very soon which involves having holiday dinners, it involves New Year's, it involves business dinners and parties and celebrations and for most people and for a lot of people, the month of December is a big, big party month. And it's one of those months that people kind of let go of their diet, they let go of their fitness routine, they let go of everything and they put everything off till January. And for me, being in sort of the, the diet and nutrition industry is that what I see is a lot of people getting onto their new diet and getting their gym membership and getting onto a fitness routine starting in January, but by the end of January, by February, it's gone. They forgot it, they've left it behind, and they're carrying around an extra five to 10 pounds from the holiday celebrations. And I want everyone to avoid this. And one thing that I've seen work the best is actually getting started now. Get started in the month of November. Make the month of November, or the remainder of the month of November, it, the time to start your New Year's resolutions. That by the time all the holidays start rolling in, you've already gotten started on your fitness routine. You've already gotten started on your healthy diet. You're already doing things and you're already getting results. I find when people are getting results from being on a healthy diet, and working out and doing all that, the less they want to indulge in the stuff that sabotage those results. You know, So if you're losing weight because you're on a healthy diet or you're getting strong and fit and lean and building muscle because you're added in a new fitness routine, if you're doing that starting now, then once the holidays come in, you're less likely to overindulge. You might allow yourself to indulge, which is fine. You might have a treat meal here and there and have a big night out. That's not a problem. But as long as the next day you're back onto your routine, back working out, back eating healthy, then you're not going to even notice a difference in, in any of the results that you gained, you know, that everything's going to be good. And, and in fact, by the end of the holidays, you might have actually gone even stronger or more fit or even lost weight. You know, these things do happen. Some people actually go through the holidays and going to all the parties and doing things, but stick onto their healthy routine and onto their goals that by the end of the holidays, they actually look better than they did before the holidays. Why not? You know, we decide what, what kind of results we want, what we're aiming for and what we're doing. And do you want to be someone that starts the month of January feeling overwhelmed, feeling tired, feeling guilty and regretful, or do you want to be starting the month of January feeling like supercharged and ready to continue what you've already established? And that's something to think about. We're in the middle of November and this is a perfect time to get onto those goals. Don't put it off till January. Start now. You will be thanking yourself. And I want to just end off by reminding everyone that next week, November 24th, next Monday, is the next seven day whole food challenge. And it's seven days of eating 100% natural, healthy food diet. You are eliminating all sugar, all processed food, all flour, all junk food, fast food, all of that, everything. <laughs> You're on 100% natural, healthy food diet for an entire week. This is an amazing way of kickstarting a healthy diet, especially before the holidays start. And for those that are celebrating Thanksgiving next week, it is during. Thanksgiving. And that's actually a good thing. A lot of people have actually joined the seven day whole food challenge while they have to go and celebrate Thanksgiving to keep them on their diet and keep them motivated during the holidays. Why not? You know, you, don't, you can enjoy and celebrate the holidays while still eating super healthy. And then by the end of the seven day whole food challenge, you press the reset button on your diet, you feel great and you're ready to continue and keep getting awesome results. So if you want to join us, the seven day whole food challenge is seven days of eating 100% healthy food diet. When you sign up, you get an ebook with the recipes. There's over 75 recipes. There's three sample menus. There's food lists as to what you can and cannot eat. There's so much information just in the ebook. And then once the program begins, you get access to an online forum where you get to connect with everyone else doing the seven day whole food challenge with you. Plus there's daily videos for the seven day whole food challenge. Each video is about 20 to 40 minutes long that walk you through everything you need to know about eating a healthy diet, how to stay on to the healthy diet, how to deal with cravings and, and trigger foods and all that kind of stuff and, and how to have a successful week being on a healthy food diet. So if you want to join us, go to my website at radiantcentral.com, click on products and you'll see the seven day whole food challenge there. I am wishing you guys a super fabulous day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.